Have you ever tried using gesso on paper? Usually we think of it as a primer for our canvas, but in this video, I wanna show you how you can prime your paper using gesso to receive acrylic paints and inks and powders and creams and all that stuff we like to use in our art journaling process. I don't have um, an art journaling per se right now. So I do have this hymn book. I've got a whole bunch of old hymn books. You do want to put paper in between so that it doesn't go through to all the pages. So if you're working on this page, just kind of put a little bit of a barrier through there. So I'm going to uh, just take, and I'm going to water this down a little bit because I don't want white page. I don't want this to cover the words. I want the words to still show through. So I'm just dipping my brush in there a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of water on there. So these pages are not as thin as like what you would think of like Bible pages if you um, are journaling in your Bible, but there are specific Bible journaling. There's many Bible uh, journaling things and art, um, devotional journaling things. Okay, so that's about what I want. Maybe just a little bit more. So it's just kind of whitewashed and I'm gonna dry it with my blow dryer. What this does is it makes it a lot more sturdy. Okay, and it makes it a good surface to add paint on, um, inks, mixed media. I'm just gonna show you a few things and we're just going to add, I have these Jane Davenport inks that I got. I have an unboxing of those if you want to check that out, a video of that. And I'm just going to, I actually haven't had a chance to use these too much, so I thought I'm going to use them in here. Now look at how nice that is. Oh my word, that is beautiful. And you can still see the words through that a little bit. And so I'm just I'm just showing you a few different things that you can use. And I have a gelato up here. So I'm gonna do a gelato up here. I'm just gonna wet my brush a little bit. Oh, look at that nice, um, I think I'm starting to get like in the mood for Easter or spring because I keep going to Easter colors and spring colors. Okay, so I'm gonna show you another really cool thing. Actually, I'm just gonna dry this quick. So I have my own DIY gesso paste. So if you wanna learn how to do this, the cost is, the cost difference is massive. So I would encourage you to check out that video and go and watch it because it will very much save you some money and it's just amazing how awesome it is. So this is a heavier form of, of gesso. So it's not, it's not the same as a regular DIY homemade gesso recipe. I keep sticking my knife in there. And this is a really nice white gesso. You can always tint it with whatever color you want. Okay, so I'm gonna take that off and then I'm just gonna put it down here too. I'm honestly just fooling around. I don't have a plan here. I'm not gonna do a whole page on this video, but I'm just showing you a few different things to use gesso on for paper and so the first type of gesso I used was actually, I'll just show it to you in a second. Side up, and I smeared that, that's okay. This is an art journal, we're all good to go. And you can just use a plastic. This actually, it probably would matter to use this one, whatever. So this is the gesso I used to put on the page at first. So I just dipped my brush in there, watered it down just a little tiny bit. 
So this is actually from a Canadian website. It's called curries.com, C-U-R-R-Y-S dot com. But Amazon or any hobby store with a fine art section will have it. Uh, I generally don't buy the the gesso that's in the mixed media section or in the scrapbooking section because it's usually a little tiny container like this for quite a lot of money. So I usually go to the fine art section and get my gesso from there. So I just want to show you, this is all dry now and you can see the texture of it. I believe, hopefully you can tell that texture. So it's quite hard. Um, I would say that the DIY gesso that I have is maybe doesn't solidify quite as much as modeling paste or texture paste that you would buy in the store, but it's still quite, quite hard. You can see that. So it works. It it works pretty well. A few different things, and just show you how this works with the texture paste on here. And I mean, you can even use your fingers on that. So you can see all the different ways to use gesso on here. And I, if you want to use black gesso, you can use, it's, it works the same way. I have this black gesso, and you can also make your own black gesso. Just going to my recipes, if you um, check that out, you can see how to do that. That looks really cool. I don't know if you can see that close up. Just show you that. With these, uh, these are just the Art Alchemy uh, from Prima. So just remember that uh, every when you're when you're working with paper, blow dry each after each technique you do. So after I did this, after I did the initial gesso on here, I I put the dryer on it, and then after I did this, I dried it, and uh, this I just let dry on its own. This one when I wet it with a brush, I probably should have dried it before I put that on there. I'm gonna use my other. This is my other DIY gesso, and it is just. I gotta shake this up first. It is just regular gesso, but it's not completely white. It's a little bit gray. And the and both gessos are on the same video. Both gesso recipes that for the heavier gesso I used here for the heavier texture gesso and this um, regular just this regular gesso is on the same video. Okay, so let's dry that. So when you put gesso on, it also helps to, if you need to use water, because this is a little bit too heavy here. I don't want it that heavy. So it helps the paper to accept that water without without shredding up, um, which is kind of important with, with art journaling. But as always, you do need to keep an eye on it. So you can definitely see how gesso can help you with your art journaling, especially if you're journaling in something that isn't made for that purpose and you're you want to use like an old book you have or an old bible um, or a hymn book like i am you can oh that looks really cool so you can see how gesso is really going to help you when working with this because otherwise if i would have been doing all of these techniques on this same piece of page the same paper this paper would have disintegrated by now it would have been ripped up so I hope that gives you some tips and some ideas if you were searching for ways to use gesso on paper. Yeah, definitely check out my other videos that I have 
on Just So. I think, I believe there's eight in all. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you can see all my videos I post every week. And I would love to see any comments you have below, any questions. I will see you on the next video.